Immediately we got those reports. A team was constituted at county level involving the National Drought Management Authority, national government officials that are there, including the county commissioners, and the experts, water guys, health guys, uh, other people in the county, livestock guys, the livestock body condition, and you know livestock is the major livelihood. Still fair and good in most places. We have looked at the pasture. Yes, it's depleting, but the pasture is not completely depleted. We have looked at the livestock prices. They are still normal. And if that livelihood, livestock, is still okay, and that's what they depend on, why should somebody die when the livestock is still there? What happens normally, you would find that the pasture is gone, the water is gone, the livestock is dead, the crop is gone, then the human being is affected. So it's very difficult for human being to be affected before the livelihoods are lost. So looking at all these factors, we are convinced beyond a little doubt that unless we get other reports, what we have now does not indicate any death as a result of drought. Thank you. <laughs> Unasema kwa 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 mba yangu watoto yangu kumi na mwache na mimi na mama sisi sisi kumi na tatu kwa nyumbani na mwache pata chakula kwa siku tatu apana wakati napata sori na kula na hiyo ndi ulikula sema hiyo ndi sari ni lukula ndi ndi kakanya tumbo inuni sori na umo tumbo yangu Na umesema ulikuwa una unapewa pesa ile ya wazi na ujapewa kwa muda na niyo ndio ulikuwa unategemea. Mimi nafikiri mwezi sita au 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 mwezi saba. Ndio ujapata. Oh. Sasa mnategemea tu hiyo sarich na watoto yako na wajuku. Ah ndio, tafanya nini? Na watoto wanaenda shule, sivyo? Aenda. Mhm. Mhm. Na bukiri mwezi saba sasa au mwezi nane. Haijakuja. Mwezi anapo hii. Kwaka ilipita. Mhm. Pado pesa. Mhm. Mimi sikia watu watu wengine nasema hakuna, ki napotea. Mhm. Sikii napotea, pado. Na wewe ungependa kuambia nini serikali? Kwa relief. Hata maindi kasi mani ibu watu nakula mwaka hii watu ya pokote hapa ya kusha hata maindi ya lip kuna na weo kipata hiyo pesa ya waze kuna mali ambapo uneza nunuwa maindi ae kuna nunuwa watu kinyang kwa kazi ya soko anuwa maindi Watu na leto kutoka marika tuko Sisi naenda kutuwa kwa ginyang Tumatato Soko Na wewe una mbuzi mbe na ngombe Hakuna ngombe Hakuna Kwa mbuzi na konda Mbuzi kumi Hiko kumi Na konda sasa we are put into place about uh, that one dams that are going to be constructed before the rains and also small pans for household whereby so far we have done 8,000 and we want to hit 10,000 
before the onset of the rains. And that will now uh, add the issue of us mitigating every time there is drought, we are coming up with a, a new plan. And we want to sustain this throughout so that at least in the next three years, we see how many of the disputed 4,000 uh, dams in the country that can carry a capacity of between 100,000 to 500,000 cubic meters can be uh, uh, rehabilitated in, by the next three or so years. The situation in the country has been assessed and uh, assessment has been going on by NDMA, the National Drought Management Authority, with other multi-agency and multi-stakeholder uh, committee. We must state here categorically is that the food situation is stable, the food prices are stable. In fact, um, the prices are within um, acceptable um, limits and therefore it is important for Kenyans to know that we have sufficient food in the country, the food situation in the country is stable and there should be no cause for alarm. What we are concentrating now is together with the counties to work on logistics of making sure that um, food reaches the people in affected areas in a timely manner so that we can avert and avoid any casualties from the effects of drought. Pokot are very sincere and honest. Atufanyi drama. Hapa ungevika kama ingekuwa kaundi zingine, ungeletewa mama wenye wanalala hapa kama drama. We have left them at home. Wenye wako awajiwezi kufika hapa atuje kuletea. Sisi atujeleta kutoka villages, kusanya na maluri na pickups, ili kukufanyia drama kama waziri wetu. They are there. Na atuja waleta. Lakini kama ni masikia wa serikali inapenda kusikia drama kama ile jamali kuwa nakula mgui angamia, mzima, how or not can somebody eat the whole feet of a camel bila kukatakatwa? That was even a drama, the worst drama ever seen. Sisi watu wapokotu we are sincere and we are very honest. Tukisema watu wamekufa, tunasema ukweli. Na hata ukisema tuende tuangalie kaburi tutakupeleka tukwambie ndio huyu mwenye alikufa. Na ukitaka kuchimbua utaenda kuchimbua uende upime ujue alikufa kwa nini. Kwa sababu they are there. Ere yangu kama upande wa Tirioko sehemu za Kulal the other month mimi niliwatembelea. The first thing wakiona gari ya MCA wanakuuliza vitu viwili umebeba maji hapa? Umebeba chakula hapa? Mheshimiwa waziri sisi tunataka kukueleza kwamba ile respond wewe umefanya kwa hii siku moja we are happy na tunataka kukuomba kwamba chakula ambao umeweza ku, kuweka budget kukuja tiati sub counties ya east na west iweze kufikia location mpaka village ya wale watu wameumia juicy Kwa ukweli watu wamekufa kwa njaa. Kwa ukweli watu wamekufa kwa njaa. Na kazi yangu kama mwanasiasa ni kuchunga hao binadamu. Nikiona wamezovika niko nao usiku na mchana. Nikiona wamezovika wamepata njaa hao ndio wanakuja milango yetu kila asubuhi kila jioni. Machimbo sio ni wapo hapo wakisema watasema ukweli kwa sababu hao raia wako kwa mlango ya chief kila asubuhi wako mlango ya MCA kila asubuhi. All over. Kwa hivyo ndugu yangu, tukiangalia mambo ya chakula, tuangalia mambo ya water tracking. Na furai leo mko na afisa wako hapa wa NDMA, bwana Wafula, na nina imani ananisikiza. Kama waziri analeta mambo ya chakula, Watu wa NDMA na wengine pia Rift Valley Water Services Board waanze kutusaidia mambo ya maji. Shule nyingi zimefungwa sasa hivi. Ukienda sehemu za Natan, ukienda sehemu za Riongo pande hiyo, Silale, ukienda Koloa, Loyuat area hiyo, area ya Kapunyani. 
shule nyingi zimefungwa ukienda lokes sasa hivi shule nyingi zimefungwa kwa sababu ya ukosefu wa maji can you imagine bwana bwana wamalwa sisi tumekosa maji mtu anakaa wiki mbili bila kuoga waja hata ya kukunywa unabahatika kidogo kuoga ni wiki mbili hiyo mwili ya binadamu iko namna gani kwa hivyo tunaomba tafadhali kwa unyenyekevu mtusaidie kwa hiyo department ya maji na hii department ya chakula we hope and pray to god we are not a cry we are not a crying people ukiona wapokoto wamelia ni, ni ile kilio ya ukweli kwa sababu haya manano ni real jambo la pili okay kwa majina naitwa anthony limo mimi ni mkaaji wa hapa na domion eh sasa ningependa kusema hali ya huku hii ni sehemu ya hii ni wakati ya, ya, ya dry season kwa sisi sisi tunakuanga na shida sana na hii ni wanzangu wenye tunakaa tunakaa na huku nafunza shule hapa juu naona hapa tuko na shida mingi sana 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 tuko na shida ya njaa hatuna chakula community nzima imebidi waende watafute wild fruits yenye inaitwa sorich eh uh, sorich ni acidic it is an acidic well fruit yenye inapatikana only available kwa dry season na ikifika dry season kwa sababu hatuna otherwise wanaona kuchuna na hii sorich na hii kitu kwa sababu ni, ni kwa sababu ni hii kitu ni acidic wanafaa kumwaga maji 12 times ndio hiyo hiyo at least mtu anakula eh, sasa imebidi watoe wat usiku ama mchana mmoja wa miss chakula alafu later on kesho wanakuleta kwa mtoni alafu wanakuja kupika all day kama sasa ya saa hii asubuhi mpaka saa hizi ndio wanakula saa hizi ndio wanakula saa hizi na hii kitu usipo ukikula kama, kama acid yote ijakuja ijaisha itaweza kukuletea madhara utaweza arisha na utaweza patesa maisha kwa kama hapa tumepoteza wase watatu so far eh, kuna mtu anaitwa Akadosiwa mzee mmoja wa hapa ali alifariki aliweza kufariki juzi akaacha watoto wake jianja mse mwingine anaitwa Etim the current issue anapoteza na hata huko hapa karibu tutaona tutaona size ya graph yake shida nyingine maji hapa maji hapa tuna tu shida ya maji hapa e, wase wanachimba kisima chini karibu watu watatu wanaenda chini ndio ndio ifike juu sasa watu hiyo 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 kisima itazasika watu juzi ilikuwa na incident na mtoto mmoja mtoto mmoja alikuwa chini alafu mwingine akakanyanga kwa juu akanyanga hiyo nini kisima juu ikajaribu ikasika nyingine mpaka ikakuwa almost almost about the maisha hivyo ndio sisi tunaendelea hapa ningeomba tu kama kuna any eh, mali source of food iko mtusaidie yake wewe umesema wewe ni mwalimu yes population ya Mm -hmm. ina funguka kivipi kwa wakati wa ukame yes. wakati hakuna ukame yes. kama population ina rejisha yes sisi kwa shule hapa shule ya huku unajua huku ya pastoralism ya siku za dry season uh, community wana move towards mali iko maji na iko pasture sasa shida yenye tuna tuna challenge tuko nayo kama walimu ikifika wakati wa dry season wanavunzi wote wanaenda na, na, na kwao wanaama na makwao alafu rain season ndio wanagurudisha yule mtoto alikuwa kwa class 3 na anarudi class 3 kama wengine wameenda ama alikuwa class 4 anarudi kwa class 4 wengine washaenda 5 hiyo ndio shida hasa saizi uh, saizi hatuna watoto kwa shule lakini from ikinyesha watoto wanaanza kubaki shule eh tuko na wamehamia uh, watu hapa hii mtoni hapa hii ni Rivanginyang na iki towards kapedo huko chini hii mtoni ina ten kwa permanent river kuna mali inatoa maji so watu wanaenda mali kwa availability ya maji wanaama kufuata maji na pasta kwa the other part ya silale huko iko maji iko iko pasta na iko maji huko chini so wana ten kwa na mali iko iko pasta si wengine wenye duwezi kama hiyo wa kubwa mama wenye huwezi kutembea wamebidi wame, wame kubagi hapa na wanyama wote wengine wanaenda hivi hmm. 
Okay, very well. What we have, uh, what we have in Tiati is a situation of uh, drought. Uh, I'm happy that the government, at least uh, the executive, have, uh, have realized, uh, although a bit late, but at least they have realized that uh, the situation that we have here is a situation of, it's a dire situation. The situation of, of drought, hunger, uh, extreme water shortage, long distances of women and children trekking to look for water, and um, all the pandams, a hundred percent, are dry. All the um, Boreholes, uh, some many of the boreholes uh, have issues. You'll find in parts of Slale where we have tried to do some boreholes, the water is salty and toxic. It becomes impossible to take, so we rely on uh, the waters of uh, like Baringo, uh, which, are so, being which is being supplied by GDC, but it's also unreliable. We have um, the entire constituency in, in a very dire need of um, all manner of relief interventions. The, the, those who are able to move with livestock have moved to, to other places. In, in Amaya region, uh, they have moved to Samburu, high, higher sections of uh, the area. Those ones on Lower Salale, they have moved to near Baragoy. Um, those ones in in uh, sides of Capedo are now on top of Mlima Salale, without water. Cows can stay and people can stay without water for even uh, five days. On the side of Tirioko, people have moved towards Kerio River. Kerio River bed is, is already dry. So people are just doing shallow wells along the riverbed of Kirio. Others have moved across to uh, Masol Hills in West Pokot. And uh, the place which is now a problem is the side of Kirio, uh, towards uh, Tot, where there's a bit of grass in, uh, in the areas of Tot. But our brothers across the area, across the river, the Marakwet do not allow their brothers to cross to go and look for grass. Whenever they cross, they uh, they are resisted. Like the other day, some Hards boys, two, two of them were killed. That's because they had crossed to look for grass uh, across. Uh, so we have a dire situation of hunger and drought in, 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 in this constituency. I believe it's all over the country, but this is, we feel, we are feeling really really hard done by yeah maybe are we likely to see a scenario where my conflict will increase because people will have to migrate to their neighboring community actually i forgot to mention to you that those people uh, living around uh, people from where we are now loyamrok and tangle bay have already moved to rugus and beyond and um, so there is already a developing conflict in Baringo South, uh, grazing and water, because everybody now is going to look at the water of River Arabal. So, and these are, you know, these people who are looking after cows are always armed on both sides, from Baringo South and Tiati. So they, there is a lot of uh, tension building in that area, but we have told the Waze to, to ensure that uh, they engage the other community so that we minimize conflict. So we, this, if it continues this way, this drought, if it continues this way, we are, we are looking at a very precarious situation going forward. We are all looking at the sky to see whether, yesterday there were no clouds, but today I can see some one or two, three clouds. We hope that these clouds and the God of heaven will, will uh, turn the, these clouds into rain. That is our prayer, and uh, also we. This is the time now for all 
response agencies to come to this place and come try and help the people. Yeah. Maybe yeah, so this is a time to respond and um, the first respon uh, response team, of course, must be the, uh, the government of Kenya, all the agencies that are dealing with drought situations, National Drought Management Authority, Ministry of uh, uh, the department of, of uh, under the uh, Minister of Devolution, I think it's Minister of Devolution nowadays, so I don't know, this government is so all the time changing departments. So all those departments that are supposed to help people must be here and we, we, we are urging them to come as soon as possible. I appeal to even Red Cross also, uh, all, all the development agencies come and help us because we have a very dire situation uh, this side. And as soon as possible. Yeah. Thank you. Sisi tunasema kwamba tutazidi kusirikiana pamoja na serikali na waisani kuhakikisha kwamba hatujapoteza mtu tena kupitia makali ya njaa. Hama namna gani? Tunaomba namna hiyo. Endelea kusaidia sisi. Nimeandika barua tumeomba magunia 1500 ya chakula ifikie sehemu hii yetu. Na naomba chiefs ikifika isambazo kabisa kwa mwananchi kamili. Mina na support. Maneno ambayo Mheshimiwa Kamketa amesema na MCA kwamba ikifika ipelekwe direct kwa wananchi. Isiwekwe store iende wapi? Baka kila mwananchi apate nini? Chakula. Maana ikikaa pale nasikia labda itapata mguu itatembea. Kwa hivyo, kwa hivyo tunataka iende direct kwa wananchi. Wata panzi yetu ambayo tulijenga hapa Tiati tulijenga na imejengwa moja na tano. lakini 80% ya water pans ambayo iko Baringo Tiati community imekauka 80% ya water pans imekauka tutatoa maji kutoka pombo hii, hii tatu ambayo ilikuwa imeharibika hapa shule mbele nadhani sasa inafanya kazi maana tuliweka solar panels Tunafanya, tuliweka solar stima ilikuwa haifiki ilikuwa na katakata na kuharibu mashini lakini hivi majuzi tuliweka sola na nasikia kupitia MCA kwamba inafanya kazi kwa sasa hata ile iko hapo Ginyak River hapo inafanya kazi kwa sasa kwa hivyo tutaenda kuhakikisha kwamba hii bowls ambayo imeharibika tunaenda kutengeneza na pia tupate na nafasi ya kuchimba mengine hapa Tiati shule tutaki ifungwe kwa sababu ya kukosa maji Hii matangi kama ile iko huko tumeambia hawa sunguke kwa mashule wapeleke nini maji na wakifika mahali iko tangi wazipite waweke nini maji kwa hivyo wana driver ukiona mahali iko shule waweke tuko na mashule ambayo tume 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 tumehakisha kwamba tumefanya mapping ya kuweka maji also be coming uh, in these areas to ensure that we address uh, uh, the problem of uh, uh, livestock in Trukana I've just been learned a new word called emadang there is a, a, a tick that uh, has uh, invaded Trukana uh, that is actually affecting their livestock. So they need our livestock experts to move in to help. And also I learned a new word again called emase. Uh, these are locusts that have also invaded uh, uh, Trukana County. So all these will need combined efforts across uh, several ministries. We'll be working closely with the county governments, our sister Sisley Karyuki, We'll also have to come in on health issues. But most importantly, the issue of security. Uh, uh, Ministry of uh, Interior, uh, CS Matiange, will also be coming to visit. Because when there is scarcity of water, there is scarcity of pasture, there is an increase in uh, conflict, tension between communities. And leaders here have spoken about this. So we would like uh, uh, our brother in charge of Interior to come and sit with the leaders here to address the challenges of insecurity, cattle rustling, and uh, we see how we can also do some peace-building programs so that we have our brothers, uh, the Pokot brothers living peacefully with the Turkana, the Turkana living peacefully with the Karamoja on the other side of the border as well as uh, with the Tugen and uh, 
uh, all the other com and the Marraquets. Uh, so we would like to see peaceful coexistence of all communities living together in spite of the drought, in spite of the challenges we are facing today. Uh, until the situation normalizes, we'll be working very, very closely. We'll be upscaling interventions across sectors. Thank you. So Mimi, Nikama, Johanna, Mbatizaji, I've only come ahead of the rest, but they are all coming and we'll be working together to help our people in this county and in the country at large. Thank you. Asante ni sana. Nimekana Gavana, MCS Wenu Hapa, County Commissioner Bwana Wafula, Mutu yangu wafula mwingine wa NDMA wananieleza hali ilivyo turukana ndio vile hali ilivyo wapi Baringo County. Kwa hivyo leo niko hapa kwanza kuzindua ugavi wa chakula ili kuhakikisha tusipoteze maisha ya mukenya sababu ya hii njaa na ukame ulioko kwa taifa letu. Mheshimiwa governor amesema Baringo County wanahitaji magunia 1500 ya mahindi. Na mimi nimesema sababu nimetoka Turkana nilikuwa naelekea leo tuanze na kuhakikisha ya kwamba ile chakula tumepokea magunia tano ya maragwe kesho asubuhi tunapokea magunia ya kwanza elfu moja ya mahindi sasa itakuwa magunia elfu, elfu tano ya mahindi na tuwe na magunia elfu mbili mia tano ya maragwe. Tunaongeza juu yake. Ili kila mnapokea elfu moja ya mahindi, lazima tukue na mia tano ya maragwe. So bwana governor haitakuwa tu elfu tano, sasa itakuwa elfu saba mia tano. Na hiyo chakula haitoki mbali, iko tu hapa Nakuru. Kwa hivyo tutakuwa tunawasiliana. Na ninyi mnajua Ha, huyu gavana wenu mheshimiwa e, watiati ni rafiki zangu sana kamket chakula ikikwisha ni simu tu utaona wamalu wako hapa mimi sihitaji visa kuja baringo nitakuwa narudi hapa tena na tena hadi hali hii iweze kwisha sawa sawa na sio tu ati tumeleta leo chakula nimekuwa turukana nikaulizwa na kiongozi mmoja huko akasema we wa Malwa usikue kama nabii Elisha aliyekuja kwa mujane aliyekuwa na njaa na mujane alikuwa na chakula kidogo akasema basi wacha tukule hii kidogo iko alafu kesho tukufe leo tumesema hapana sio hii tu tumeleta kesho tutaleta chakula kingine wiki lijalo tutaleta kingine hata kama mwezi ujao hali haijabadilika bado tutaleta chakula kingine hadi hali hii iweze kuisha na watu waweze kujiendelesha kwa maisha yao. Tuko pamoja. Kando na chakula pia tunajua Baringo County kuna shida ya maji. Vile vile tuko hapa kuzindua mpango wa water tracking. Na tumesema tuki, tunapoleta chakula pia tutakuwa tunaleta na maji safi ili watu walio na shida ya maji wapate chakula na maji pamoja. Tuko hapa na timu yetu ya NDMA wacha simame